Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 2 of my Skyblock Let's Play on the brand new season on my very own server, Neo Network, that you can play along with me on both Java and Bedrock Minecraft. So any device that plays Minecraft, you can come and hop on the server and start your Skyblock adventure today. IP is down in the description and the top pinned comment down below. All right, so as you guys know, I have been on a huge fishing kick. Fishing is absolutely the meta. I don't know where my sword went. Actually, I may have not ever have crafted a sword. I Maybe I was killing the mobs with my axe? I have no idea, but we really do need to get some food. So I did buy one cow spawner. It's just been sitting there. Um, I'm recording this the same day, so it's still the second day of the season so if you guys want to start now is a very very good time to start and of course i believe we don't oh, we don't have any coal but we can get some coal pretty easy now we do have a little bit of money so let's slash enchant the pickaxe and give it just a little bit of stuff probably just want honestly fortune on it for right now and then as much efficiency as we can get there we go and let's see is there any coal on this side no just caught oh that almost pushed me off the edge Oh, there we go. There's some coal. But keep in mind, if it does push you off the edge, it's okay. If you fall, you just go back to your island spawn point. So it's not a big deal at all. We are getting a ton of diamonds, which is good, too. But yeah, I wanted to do a bunch of things this episode. And uh, we're going to have to start off by doing a little bit of fishing because we need more money. So let's fish and fund ourselves a little bit of, uh, a little bit of cash. So let's see. We're going to put up all the tools. And then we're going to go fishing. We'll fish for the, you know, the first few times on camera. And then after that, I will fish the rest off camera. I believe we have lure 8 right now. And you can get up to lure 10. Now, if you get lure 10, I promise you, you're going to be floored. You can catch a fish like once a second, dude. It's absolutely wild. Hey, yo, an exotic fish. Nice. What is that worth? That is worth $1,800. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue to fish. I'll come back when I have a full inventory. And we will see how much money it's worth. Yo, just caught a 903 centimeter shark. And then I believe there was something else in here. Oh, we keep missing. I believe there's something else in here. That was good. We keep missing fish. Okay, where, where was it? It was something really good. Uh, Honestly, I don't remember, but I am curious. What is, what is that one shark worth? No, oh, it's only 45K. Okay, well, we only have three more fish to catch. And then we'll move on to other stuff. I wanted to do the first tier of personal missions uh, since there's, they're actually like really fun to complete now. And they're not like a waste of time, like placed 5,000 wool and stuff like that. I have been throwing out the junk, so we're only going to sell fish. I kind of do that when I fish. It, it, it's fun. I, I need to make a chest where I just put all the junk items in. I don't really know why I throw them off the edge. Maybe we'd want lily pads at some point. And uh, instead of having to waste money on them, we could just, you know, get them like that. We need to create a collection system for our, um, like I just said that, I'm throwing them out. We need to make a collection system for our, oh my gosh, um, for our cobblestone generator. And then I also want to expand the island because it's kind of small at this point. Um, of course, that isn't what I wanted to focus on in the first episode. Oh my gosh, dude, a 931 centimeter emerald guardian. If you look in slash fish list, I'm pretty sure... The biggest they can be is a thousand centimeters. How much is that worth? That was what was worth so much money. Yeah, that's 93k. Remember the last one we got, I think was worth like 700 something thousand dollars. And that was where we got all of our money the first episode. Okay, our inventory is full. And it looks like that catch was $224,000. Now, to be fair, if we want to get the next level on the uh, lure for our fishing rod, it's going to cost... A million dollars and then the next one's 2.5 million dollars so it does get to be pretty expensive eventually but that's okay it's fair believe you me um, it is just a very expensive thing we do have an ore hopper actually that's super nice and uh, we do definitely have enough wood probably just gonna make this all into chests if I'm honest we we're gonna need a lot of chests anyways and we'll start to build this stuff right below here now, if you're wondering, you know, Neo, how are you flying on Skyblock? Man, that's not cool. That makes no sense. Well, you yourself can get fly. If you go on the server and do slash vote, and then you can click on your player head, it'll show you the link, which is just store.neocubus.com slash vote. And then you just click on those four links in there, 
go back into here, and then you claim your votes right there. After you've voted 40 times, you get a $5 Bycraft gift card. You then just do slash gift cards like that, and it will show you your gift card code. You go to the store, which is just store.neocubus.com, or you can just do slash buy, and then you can buy yourself fly right here. So access to fly. There you go. Four bucks. So you just have to vote for 10 days. So let's make a little bit of a collection system now. Since we have an ore hopper, we don't actually have to like, you know, have anything showing above. We'll just literally put this here and then put a double chest and then probably just like one more double chest should be fine. I don't think we need more than that. Let's see if we can get the chest back. I don't think chests fall at your feet, but I can still get it. Trust me. There we go. That works. And if we just put our hopper leading into this chest, that means that everything that we mine from here, assuming it's in the same chunk, which, oh, <laughs> well, it's, it's right on a chunk border. I, I don't know if you mine things outside of the chunk. I don't think, oh yeah, it's all, it's if the player is standing in the chunk. Okay. So yeah, everything I mine here will now go directly. And if you want to see your chunk borders, you can just do slash chunk borders. Or if you're on Java, hold down F3 and tap a G on your keyboard. And that will show you the chunks. And uh, this one ore hopper will work in this chunk when your player is standing in it. So since I'm standing in this chunk, like see this redstone is outside of it. But if I mine it, it isn't going on the ground. It's going directly in the ore hopper. So super cool. I didn't know that's. I, I didn't know that would work. So I'm going to mine for a little bit here too because I need to get some cobblestone and uh, likewise materials. I think I asked deposit sky coins. How many do we have? Um... Or how much does it cost to upgrade the origin? It'd be 40k sky coins. We don't have that much. How many do we have in here? 25,000. Yeah, we're not going to get it for a while. But mining gives you really good sky coins. So highly recommend mining. I'll be back. I'm making the ore collection system a little bit bigger. So I'm going to buy the uh, island hopper limit. It goes from 5 to 50. Better do slash VP because we got a vote party. And then this one will just run into heat. Oh have it run into the one over here I'll have it run into right there okay cool so all of these chests should work these little ones right here of course don't work but all the double chests should now hold stuff so i'll mine for like 15 minutes maybe something like that and uh we'll just go crazy on it we need to make sure we not break our pickaxe and what i will do too is i will go ahead and slash enchant this and make sure we have unbreaking to the maximum never give it silk touch but you can remove it if you do accidentally give it to yourself it's okay you would just do enchant, remove, and then silk underscore touch. Now, since we don't have it on there, it'll just say enchant removed, but it wasn't there in the first place, so we can't really remove it. But yep, I'm just going to be mining, and I will come back, and we will collect these chests of loot and keep what we need and uh, sell what we don't. See you then. Okay, well, I mined for a long time without realizing that this system doesn't really work. These two chests don't fill up. We'll build a properly large one at some point, but I'm not really sure why it doesn't exactly fill up. Uh, the only thing I really needed to keep was cobblestone, and I'm okay with the fact that I didn't get entirely just cobblestone because I want to help increase my masteries. Now, if we want to do masteries by hand, we can, but it's probably best to make, like, minions. And uh, to unlock the super pickaxe, which is something we definitely want to get, we're going to want to have to get tier one and six mining masteries, as it says right there. And then you can get up to level fortune 15, which is five times better than this. So I'm going to just take all the cobblestone out. Let me put it actually back in there for a second. And we will run sell. And what is this worth? Like 17K. So yeah, early game, man. I'll just... <laughs> It's not even really a spoiler. It's just better if you, uh, yeah, it didn't go in this side at all. It's so strange. That's, that's really weird. Uh, but yeah, it's just better to be fishing. So we'll start growing our cocoa beans here pretty soon. The meta will be out once the first video goes live. Nobody knows currently how to get fast MCMMO, um, because we, we basically made the glow lichen farm and then that, and then that other automatic farm kind of useless. Um, because it just, it was never intended to be that good, if that makes sense. It was always too good. We'll go ahead and sell what's in here. Okay, 25k, 6k, eh, it's not really even worth it. It's fun to mine, but if you're gonna be getting money, well, let's go ahead and see what's here. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, preemptively turn my audio off so it's not super loud. Ooh, some emerald blocks, okay. Some iron blocks, not bad. Uh, some money. It looks like 5k. I will always take that. 
There's 15k. I will always take that. Okay, cool. And more gold blocks. Nice. Okay, slowly turn it up in case there's any more lightning. Now, I, don't, I personally don't want any of these things, so we'll go ahead and just sell them. So let's collect sugarcane. Sugarcane's the one thing I don't like farming with heat drops on, because usually you run to collect it. And if you're running, then it ends up just falling down. So it's actually not super helpful. We do want to start our cocoa bean farm, but I want to make sure everything looks good on the island. So before we do anything, we're going to take these mossy stone slabs here. And we are going to expand upon these pretty much. We're, we're just going to make the island go out from the edges. Now I'm going to turn off my Invis Island Border Resource Pack, which you can find in the Neo Network Discord server down in the description below. It's pinned in the general section of that Discord server. So we kind of built this thing in the center, which is good. That's all I really wanted to see. I just wanted to see how much room we realistically have on this side. So I'll go ahead and throw it back on. Uh, there it is. Okay, so I don't know how much more. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four from the edge on this. Let's just go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll just do eight more off of this. And yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of time, but that's okay, I'm completely willing to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a good way to do it is just to, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe that's in line, yep. Just go on the corners and do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, sorry, let me finish. Okay, well, we've just finished, well, just about finished. A platform nice and now we I feel like we have a little bit more breathing room which is always good I did want to move where these bad boys were as much as I love the jungle trees I want to have a bunch of jungle wood where we can farm our cocoa beans so kind of my plan seeing as how you know they're they're tricky to farm right because you have to replant them every time so I think the best way to do it would just be having rows that are so cocoa bean would be right there and then you want a log here but obviously we're gonna have to have like a, a space to get in here so we'll do it like right there and i don't know if i want to just have them on my like you know walking level so i can walk and break them um or if i want to be able to like walk along and like break them like that i think that's how we're gonna do it so we'll do it two blocks high and if you have no idea what i'm talking about basically mcmmo herbalism um is just a skill that's on the server and you get more of the skill by farming and the reason you want to get it is because the higher the level is, eventually once you get past level 1000, that means that every single plant that you break will automatically replant, um, at least like crops. Like sugarcane won't, but obviously you don't break the bottom piece anyways. But things like wheat, for example, will uh, just be automatically replanted. So it's actually super duper helpful. Okay, so let me finish placing these logs real quick. Okay, I'm going to go in the shop real quick because I just... I feel like we don't have enough uh, jungle saplings, so let's go ahead. Where are trees? Are they in farming and food? Yes, they are. Okay. They're 150 bucks each, so we can get a stack for 9,600. So we'll just get a stack because it seems like we always end up losing them anyways. And we'll grow our jungle trees over here. Because I want to have kind of like a jungle foresty vibe to my island. Um, I don't want this to like feel you know, like a skyblock island. I want it to feel like we're kind of on the ground in a way. I don't know if that makes sense, because we're totally not on the ground, we're in the sky. But I want it to feel like home, right? Okay, so that should probably be enough wood for quite a long time. Um, no, I don't have any more jungle wood now, but I want to make that thing look good, too. We have 64 cocoa beans, so we'll go ahead and start planting those. They're pretty easy to plant, and they grow pretty quick. And uh, if you ever, you know, are frustrated and your crops are growing too slow... Um, I'm pretty sure if we do IS upgrade, we have enough to actually upgrade our crop growth rate a few times here. Yeah, let's go. If I do IS, depo IS deposit sky coins here too. Uh, oh, we gotta actually type the amount. So 13,000. Then we go back to upgrade. I'm pretty sure we can do one more too. So now we're at level five, which is a 40% increase in how fast your uh, crops grow. It's super duper helpful. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now we will have to buy more cocoa beans or we can just let them multiply. I don't believe they're super expensive, but we might need to fish to get more. Uh, yeah, they're only 35 bucks each, so a stack is like cheap, cheap. But yeah, cocoa beans are the meta for MCMMO XP. There you go. I know every everyone was kind of freaking out. They're like, oh, it's so slow, man. But if you look at like MC Top for herbalism, 
Uh, you can see someone's almost a level thousand. It looks like King Icy. So if you went to leaderboards, I could almost guarantee you that crop breaks are the top. Yeah, they have 46,000. And if we look in total, they have 182,000 crops broken. Absolutely insane, dude. Nova Drakers is going crazy too. I highly encourage you to check out the uh, creators down in the description below. So here on, ne here on Neo Network, I actually train a team of media creators to become a YouTuber like me. And uh, essentially, I just, you know, help them make with thumbnails and, you know, help them make videos and titles and all that. So I would really appreciate it if you would go in the description and uh, you'll see where it is. It's a bunch of links for different channels and you can go check out their Let's Plays as well. Everyone who's making a Let's Play will be in the description and I will update the description of every video whenever they start. So you guys definitely should go and check them out. I would be very, very appreciative if you did that. Um, I would just be over the moon if you would go and support them. So thank you so much. Okay, let me mine this jungle tree. I'll be back when I'm done because it takes a minute. Okay, well, I just broke that one. And uh, gave us a little bit of wood. Now, I just realized the other ones grew, so I'm going to go mine those as well. Because I have a big plan. I want to make a... I don't know. I just have a big plan. So, I'm going to go ahead and just mine all these trees as they grow. you got to keep in mind, they're going to grow super duper fast. Just because, well, you know. I'm pretty sure there's a mastery um, for cocoa beans. Yeah, there is. So, double the sell price, double the sky coins, triple the sky coins. Nice. Okay, cool. I don't know if we'll ever get to that point, but you can see just breaking one. Look at that. We're almost at herbalism level two, just like that. They give you so much XP. Look at that, dude. And imagine if you had a giant row of them and you're just going crazy. Probably don't want to break them unless they're all fully grown because it's going to be kind of a pain to plant them back. So let's just not do that for now. Okay, back to getting myself some jungle wood. All right, well, all the trees are gone and uh, we did get quite a bit of wood, which is nice. Okay, so I wanted to kind of revamp this area. Uh, I, I actually, you know, what? we're gonna leave the sugar cane. It kind of makes it feel jungly. Um, I am gonna remove this. I'm gonna kind of change where it is because it doesn't need to be over here. Um, I'm trying to focus on somewhat, uh, you know, making this area look good, but also keeping it um, effective from like an actual uh, usage standpoint. I wonder, can I? No, it's gonna put the water there. Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> You'd think after all these years, I'd remember this stuff off the bat. I can just put it in. There we go. Nice. So we'll, we'll actually build a better cobblestone generator in this episode, and we'll make it work really, really well. Because there's actually... Oh, that's right. You can water lock. Oh, my gosh. Minecraft is so weird. <laughs> I put the... Ugh. Okay, so I have to take the water out of the trap door, but then it broke the water under it. So you got to put a block under it. What are you, Minecraft? You're the strangest game in the world. Um, just these two here, and then we can go ahead and pick up all the lava. I believe there's three buckets of lava. So one right here, here, and here. Nice. And now we can start the disassembly. Very, very simple. So this new version we're going to make out of all glass. We're going to need a little bit more money, so we're probably going to fish for the money, if I'm honest. Definitely the best way to, uh, to make money. We're going to have to disassemble this little bad boy down here, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Let me just break it real quick, make sure we got it. If I lose any of the other hoppers or chests, I don't really care. They're super cheap. I did realize that if you go in the shop and you look under misc, you can just buy chests and they're super cheap. You, I could buy a whole inventory for 57,000. So if you want something super cheap to build your island out of, like at the beginning, honestly, unironically, I would just build it out of chests. You could build your entire island just out of chests. It may lag really bad, but you could technically do it. Okay, so now that that is removed, we'll go ahead and take away this one. Don't really need that there now. Now, are these all fully grown? Almost. It's getting close. It's getting close. I like having the fishing pond in the middle. And again, we're going to make like a giant one. But for right now, we're just going to keep it like that. I am going to sell this stuff. Obviously, we're not going to sell the inventory and uh, sell all of our wood. So I'm going to put the wood over in here. And then the rest of the stuff can go up in here. Okay, so I'm going to fish for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. We'll get an inventory full of fish, sell them, get enough money to buy glass to build a big cobblestone generator. Then we're going to make our mining area or our fishing area look really beautiful. We'll leave it this small for now because this is as effective of a size as you really can make it. If you make it bigger, it doesn't really help. But aesthetically, bigger will be better, I think, in this case. Okay, I will come back in just a bit. Bruh. Yo, dude, the luck is insane. The fourth fish I caught is worth 80,000. What? 
is worth $80,000. Look at that. Let's go. To I love fishing, man. It's so much fun. I can't wait to get lure. What is it? Lure 10. We have lure 8, right? Yeah, we'll get, we'll get lure 9 soon, but like lure 10 is absolutely insane. Like this one, you know, it's kind of fast. You know, it, it, it works okay. But ooh, dude, you just wait until you see lure 10. It's going to put a smile on your and mine face. Mine and your face. My face and your face. That's proper English. I got it. I got it. Maybe. Okay, we have a full inventory of fish and one on the ground. So let's run slash sell. It looks like it's going to be 168k plus uh, one deep sea shark, which is 13k. So $200,000 is more than enough to build this cobblestone generator. Let's go in the shop and it's bad what we need, which is just, I think, glass. And then you need a few trap doors as well. So we're just going to... Oh, wow. <laughs> glass is super cheap. I thought glass was like super expensive for some reason. Oof. Okay. Well, I could have built that a while ago. I just didn't know, man. I, th I thought glass would be like uber expensive. Now, I don't know if we're going to necessarily need this many trap doors, but a stack of trap doors can never hurt. Uh, probably also just want like an infinite water source or we can just buy the buckets. They're like super duper cheap too. So we'll keep those there for now. Now, I don't remember exactly how to make this thing. Uh, I do know that I'm going to need a wall of glass like right here. And then I'm going to need, and you can make it as long or as short as you want. I'll probably make mine fairly long like this. And then you want to put, put a piece of glass over here. Man, it's been a while since I made this thing. So I really hope I don't mess it up. Uh, we'll make this side concave. So this is where the water is going to fall. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the water falls. Right? And then that's where you're standing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. I remember, okay? And then I think... I think you want to put signs all along here, not trap doors. So look at me. I don't even know how to make my own thing. I did not make it. But Mr. Data, one of our content creators here on Neo Network, he actually has a tutorial on this on his YouTube channel. So if you want to know how to make it, go check out Mr. Data on YouTube. Again, it's... It's Mr. D4T4, and he will be doing a Let's Play as well, so I'm sure his link will be in the description below if you would want to check him out in the future. He's an excellent content creator. Okay, now I think you want to make it like this high. It, it, the height of it, I don't think is super important. I think it can you can only reach up like so many blocks, so we'll go ahead and just build it up to be this high, and then I don't know if the water needs to be falling or if it can just be... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play around with it and figure it out. But I'm pretty sure... Did I build this thing wrong? I swear to God, if I built it... I should have built it really, like, short. And then... Hmm. So the water, like, falls down right here. And then the lava you put, like, right here. All along here. I'm pretty... No, you know what? I'm pretty sure this will work. I'm, I'm like, 99% sure this works. We'll go ahead and just... Do we even need this here? Yeah, I guess if the water is going to be right there. So we'll just go ahead and put glass right there as well. Okay. Nice. Okay, and then build this up because this is where your lava is going to go. I think. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Honestly, man, I don't. I can't remember at this point, but it should work. And we had just enough glass. Cool. Okay, so I'll buy like an inventory of lava buckets here in a second, but we'll start off with just water. I think we only need like how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, around like 15 water buckets. So we'll go in the shop, go to miscellaneous. They're 100 bucks each. Easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and then let me put the water down up here. Just give me a moment to organize. Now, if the water flows, yeah, see it flows. So I think what you have to do is break this and go one block back with it. So hold on. See, I was going to say, I feel like I remember having to do this. So, yeah, just build your glass like this. No way. We have exactly enough glass to build this thing. Hey, let's go. It doesn't make infinite sources, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. But we bought exactly enough buckets to do it. Like, literally. Unless I counted wrong, which is completely a, completely a possibility here. Yep, I counted wrong. Okay, and now the idea is that you just put lava right here? Wait a second. Wait a darn t- If I put lava right here, it's just gonna turn into obsidian instantly. 
Which you can pick up obsidian with an empty bucket, by the way. Pretty cool. Was there like a... That's kind of wild. Okay, well anyways... <laughs> and I don't I don't quite remember... Let me go watch Mr. Tata's video, I'll be right back. Can confirm, am dummy. Um, I also believe if you go and shop... I don't know if you can buy it in miscellaneous, no. But if I just like have two pieces of iron... Oh, I guess I can't. I don't have a cobblestone gen, hold on. If I were to buy two pieces of iron and make myself some shears, I'm pretty sure you can insta-break glass with them. I, I don't remember if you can or not, but let me see here real quick. Yeah, you need to offset this by one as well. Yeah, so if you ever want to break glass quickly, seeing as how it's just kind of ridiculous that you can't break it, craft a pair of shears. It's, oh, it's super helpful. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember if the water needs to go on the other side then or how this works, man. We'll, we'll have to figure it out together. Because, yeah, if the signs are here... So, like... Yeah, but the idea, what you're trying to do here... You need to make this a little bit wider. I'm pretty sure somehow I've messed it up, but I'm not sure. I think what I'm building will work, but I don't think this is the exact design that everyone else uses. But I'm pretty sure it's very similar and, like, so similar that it'll do the exact same thing. I think we're going to run out of glass because some went off the edge. Yes, it did. Okay, let me buy glass and finish. There we go. And so now, for example, if I put a lava bucket right here, whenever it tries to flow, it touches water and becomes this. And when you fill up this whole thing, that means you can run along here with Super Breaker, which is an ability you get after MCMMO mining level 50. And I believe our level is like, I don't know. I can't remember exactly what level it is, but it's a pretty high level. I think like 150 or something. So let me just put up all of my blocks. Everything that can be placed. We'll go ahead and put this stuff into here. And we are going to buy ourselves an inventory, which probably isn't enough, of lava buckets for only 3300 Not bad at all. I do remember the first season was cool because for some reason it let you like stack buckets somehow whenever you like clicked buy an inventory full. And I guess the devs fixed it and it made me sad. Because it was so helpful. Oh, that one's already full. Okay. There you go. And now all I got to do is do that on every other row. So I'll be back when that's done because it, it will take a bit and a lot more inventories of lava buckets. Yep. Okay, and just one more lava bucket. We will throw the empty ones off the edge because we do not need them. And there we go, guys. So... This is basically the best kind of mine you can make because, you know, if you just want to sit here and mine, you can do that. But if you activate Super Breaker, look at this. Yeah, dude. You can just run back and forth and just butter mine the whole thing. And you got to keep in mind, you do have to have MCMMO level 50 or above to use Super Breaker. And you just have to right click if you're on Java. I don't really know how to do it on Bedrock, but there we go. And I'm pretty sure you can break all the way to the top block with this design. Yeah, you should be able to. Um, and now, I don't know if this is all in one chunk or not. It'd be a miracle if it was. Yeah, it's in two chunks, which is okay. Um, we may end up moving it at some point anyways. But, yeah, just figured I'd show you guys how to do that. Because that's a super, super nice way to build a cobble gen. So, we're already progressing nicely. Um, but with that has come the fact that I've gotten a little bit lazy <laughs> on this build. And it looks a little weird. I do want to grab my shears because I want to get a few things here. Um, I want to grab some jungle leaves. So let's get those. And I love jungle leaves. I think they look so good. Okay, we will destroy these trees eventually, so we won't just leave them here looking all shabby. We'll go ahead and just do a whole shears worth of leaves. I think it's like four stacks of leaves or something like that. Remember, I used to know the, all these numbers, man. Um, yeah, it's almost four stacks. Cool. I was surprised I remembered that. Um, okay. So, if we want to make everything kind of jungle-themed, there is technically a way. Like, we could build jungle logs right here. Now, you have to remember that nothing can burn. Uh, fire spread is, like, disabled. So, you're okay. Yeah, I promise you're not going to burn your house down or or burn anything down if you just start putting down some logs. But we, we could totally make this thing jungle-themed was the point I was trying to make. If we don't want it to be so, you know standard looking is this where i put the other one yeah it is okay cool 
So we'll put this down, boom, boom, and then here. Nice, we'll go up by one. Now I don't know how we're gonna make it look jungle themed, but we could try. See, now it already looks more jungle themed than it did, okay? Granted, it's not the best looking thing in the world, but at least it's fitting the theme, okay? That's what we're trying to go for. Maybe you could slap some vines on it, for instance. I, I think we can get a couple pieces of iron here. Let's let's see if we can. We don't have Super Breaker again yet, but come on, baby. Give me one piece of iron. Is it two? It's three. There we go. So we can make some shears. Save ourselves a little bit of money. Might as well fish while we're waiting. So we'll grab our fishing rod. I don't really keep all my tools in my inventory this season. I don't really know why either. Okay, by the time we get a couple fish, it should be ready to go. A little walleye action. Best fish in the world, in my opinion. It's pretty cool. And then we got an exotic koi. And one more fish, and then we should be good. We got a treasure chest. Hey, yo, let's go. And a little shrimp. Okay, what are we going to get out of the treasure chest? Please give me Wither Rose kit. Ah, cell wand. That's okay. I will always take a cell wand, man. No. No. No, I right-clicked on the chest. No. <laughs> it's okay. At least it wasn't our materials chest. I swear, dude, I always do that. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I'm just, I'm very, very glad that that was not the wrong chest. 190, 2200. I made like three grand just sitting there, man. I mean, that's that's not bad at all. So maybe we can do like some sort of jungle style roof. So we'll go down like by one every time. Yeah, something like that doesn't look bad at all, right? And if we add that to, you know, this this build, it can really help, you know, spice things up a little bit. Maybe it won't look so plain Jane anymore. There we go. And then I think if we continue this pattern upwards, yeah, we can meet in the middle. Nice. And then if we just do this on top of the whole thing, it'll look good. So let me do that real quick. I believe a couple of these we can just use straight, uh, like this one and this one, we can just do straight uh, planks. We don't have to use slabs for it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Make sure it hangs one block off the edge, just like this. Okay, well, cool. I'm really happy with that. I always like when roofs can, you know, meet in the middle on a one block instead of having to make it two blocks because then it looks funky. Oh, do we have any more? Yeah, we do. Okay. And then I will be back in a bit. I've just got to place all this by hand. There we go, guys. I mean, honestly, for like a function build, it doesn't look bad at all. I am a fan. We could even tighten this up a little bit uh, just by using trap doors here. Yeah, it might be... It actually might be a real big paint. If we put a trap door, hold on. Let me just see. Do I have the pair of shears? No, I broke it, didn't I? Wait, why did I craft another pair of shears? Huh? Wait, I remember getting the iron and, and saying I wanted another pair. I was gonna say, can I just do this? And then close the trap door? Oh, I can. Now the question is, will the water break my stuff? Yes, probably. So I'm gonna try to do it as quickly as I can. Okay, there we go. So that'll tighten up the design quite a bit, and I like to do that. There we go. Nice. Now this trap door is upside down compared to the other ones, so we will do the same thing. Cool. And then I say just some trap doors on the bottom, and we should be good. Cool. So a functional build nonetheless, and it looks pretty cool, and it's jungle themed. Ooh, let's go. Uh, now we could, if we wanted to, you know, we could we could do a little bit of. A little, little bit of something like that. Add a little spice, a little bit of flavor to the top of it. Um, we could even go as far as to adding some jungle fence, which I'm going to need to craft that anyways because I have a whole plan for this area down here. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to be. Sorry, Mr. Cal. Something like this. So this is one block. Okay, so right here. And we'll have to figure out how we do the front of that one because I don't know quite yet. So we're doing two up. And we can make some sort of circular roof here, but just just to make this area look a little bit better because right now it just looks You know, I mean it, it just doesn't look good. It just looks like something um, But I do need to craft a bunch of fence probably gonna want to grab the rest of that So let's make a stack of this into sticks and then I believe now the recipe is putting them on the side The fence recipe changed it used to be something completely oh, or three stacks of fence <laughs> I believe the fence, I actually, I know the fence recipe used to be different and it, it got changed at some point and I cannot for the life of me remember why it got changed. I just know that it did. I don't even remember when it was. We could even put fence here, man. This would look good. 
kind of hard to see it, but if you're looking at the right angle, it'll add a little bit of pizzazz to the build. Looking at it there, yeah, look at that. Nice little texturing. Man, I'm kind of proud of this. <laughs> it's just a little, uh, it's kind of fun building with lava and wood, but you know, it's kind of a cursed looking thing, but hey, it works. Works pretty good. You even do fence on the bottom here. Nah, no, no, no. We're going to keep the aesthetic there. Although, I think probably want to go in with the trap doors again. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, let me finish doing all this. Okay, well, I now have all the trap doors, and I think we're done with that. Let's see if we can make this bad boy look good. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. I do know that behind these I want to use leaves. And how high I want the leaves to be, I have no idea. Maybe we'll leave the corner. Okay, Mr. Cow, it's time to it's time to go go in there. Get out of here, dude. We're probably gonna want to move that eventually. I'm I'm not really sure. I guess it was there from the beginning, so gotta give the give the cow some grace here. And then I don't want to put any more leaves, but I do want to move this stuff, so maybe we'll move it after no. Uh, it's going to be harder if I wait to move it. So let's just go ahead and make some chests. And to be honest with you, there's tons of flat space like right here. So we could just do this and make a few chests. So let me transfer everything over and I will be back in just a little bit. Okay, I got everything transferred over. And again, I don't know the exact design here, but we're going to go for something of a round roof. Now round, I hate roofs in general just because I'm bad at building them. Uh, so we'll kind of experiment here and see how this goes. Now it's a little bit tricky with the front here, but no matter what the roof design is, we're gonna wanna make sure, so let's, let's just start out over here. So it always is gonna hang off one block. So maybe it goes like this and then goes in diagonal two and then goes out like that. But is that really round? I mean, it's technically, it's round-ish, <laughs> I guess, technically, a little bit. So if we want to get that same shape, we want to just put those there. Okay. And then we just have to go one block out on each one of these. And then we can just go up by one every time, something like that. I don't know. Should be good. I know you guys are probably like, Neo, what in the world are you rambling about? Man, I don't know, okay? Sometimes when I'm building, I'm just, the thoughts are flowing and things happen. Okay, so in the front, we'll have to design the, the front of this in a bit because it's gonna be a little bit trickier. I wanna have it go down to here though. I wanna kinda have it curved down in the front. Okay, all right. And then if we wanted to, you know, go up here, then we could start building the next area of the roof just like this. I don't know if we want it to only be the diagonals or we wanna have the sides connected. You're like, Neo, what does that mean, dude? Don't worry about it. We'll see you in like two seconds. They're shooting off fireworks near me. Um, I guess, so the county I live in in Oklahoma allows like fireworks to be shot anywhere. So uh, I, I guess the fireworks store is just open. So people are already going ham. It's like not, it's not even July yet, dude. It's not even July yet, dude. That's how it is out here. Okay, so something like this. Maybe this is a rounded roof. I don't, I genuinely don't know. I I, I want to texture it with like some slabs and stuff. We'll make it look really good. Um, and then again, anything that's touching like that, we'll go ahead and break. So it ended up being kind of square up top. Yeah, it just doesn't, it just isn't giving me the vibe, man. But also at the same time, it's kind of like a fishing hut. Maybe it shouldn't be like super, hmm. Yeah, actually, do we do we use almost all the trap doors? See, I knew I wasn't wrong making that many. Yeah, we don't have any trap doors. <laughs> okay, well, good. And we do need these things bent down. I'm not sure I, I put them up. So we'll go ahead and grab this and this. Okay, something like that. Go ahead and make some more trap doors. I don't know how many we're gonna need, but it's really cool, right? Since jungle trap doors are somewhat see-through. Uh, we could just do this for the roof up here and make it kind of an open airy roof which would make sense seeing as how this is like a jungle build probably pretty warm here you know because we're in the jungle i, I guess <laughs> I don't know. it'll still feel nice and open in here though if that makes sense okay that's that's what i'm going for okay that's what i'm going for 
and then we'll go ahead and just kind of seal it off in the front and we'll figure out how to make this bad boy go down I think what we're gonna have to do is just like literally go down like it, it's kind of a pain to build with slabs but it is it is rewarding nonetheless and now I guess this needs to go down too yeah and then we'll have it just go down again okay I'll see you guys in a bit cuz it's gonna take a while to build the roof but I'll come back in a second when I'm done okay nice I actually kind of managed to make the roof look somewhat decent cool okay so yeah now it goes around the whole thing and you can see it kind of open up there for a little bit and uh, yeah now it's gonna feel nice and airy in here now I'm not exactly sure if we want to have these go inside anymore or how we want to do that because then we'd have to have something in the middle and it'll look kind of weird so maybe we'll go ahead and just take these away and what we can do is uh, we, we can either bring these logs up past the roof and make them kind of stick out and look like support posts also why when I broke those oh that's right I didn't break these I'm silly right, it's been a long it's been a long week man it's been a long week okay and then we'll break that one too so they don't need to go up super far past it just a little bit like this yeah just like that and you can cap them off with like a slab maybe a mossy slab or something which I believe we have in our inventory nice cool okay yeah I'm digging it just up a little bit there you go dude there you go and now you got a nice looking roof and if you wanted to you can go crazy with the trap doors man like I said you go absolutely crazy with the trap doors make it look beautiful now on the corners it's it, it is open technically but it's okay no bad guys are gonna get you you're safe on your island unless somehow I teleport to you with the sharpness 100 sword and kill you which I won't do have I done it before I don't know man <laughs> Uh, it is kind of nice because you can you can access it in the middle but what we could do hear me out let's buy some grass in the shop make this look nice and good okay just a stack of grass how much was that well that was nineteen thousand dollars <laughs> well it's it's good looking grass man I'll tell you what it's it's very very good looking grass okay it was worth the money it was worth the money and we'll put the fence in the front we'll have the fence run up to the ceiling like this need to incorporate more of the fence and then we'll just have the front be kind of open here these don't need to be down on the side like this anymore either so we can go ahead and just fill that in cool I like it and then I can go to the shop and I can buy what I was looking forward to which is the blue orchid I'll buy a stack just because I love them so much the neocubus flower okay you can still leave the one down below because you can still see it and it looks nice. And what we can do is take a trap door and a trap door, just like this, and then throw a slab down. There you go. Looks nice. Okay, cool. Let me make some more trap doors. There we go, guys. I am a fan. You can even make the fence go over to here and up or just over like that. That looks good. Yeah. Not bad for a little fishing area. Let me tell you, dude. It will open up the island to the public at some point. Um, it's only appropriate, too, that we use jungle trapdoors. I know. Look at me, just going crazy using the wrong kind of trapdoor. There we go. Oh, so pretty. We could put bamboo in here, but I, I prefer sugar cane. I think it looks a little bit better anyways. And then we can go one block inside like that. There we go. Oh. Is this? Ooh, yep. A little bit of something like that you could even double down and you could put some slabs like that yeah you could put some slabs like that let's go making this thing look nice dude there we go the insides looking really nice okay cool all right well I don't think we need to mess with this anymore we can now mine the cocoa beans let me put up all of my block type materials in here so anything we can like place like trap doors and stuff like that and glass and slabs and dirt and we're full on inventory space we don't need these though so now we are not full on inventory space and I want to try to get why did I not did I not sell those I want to try to get to efficiency not efficiency I want to try to get to lure 10 so we can do that it's just gonna take a lot of AFK fishing 
which you not AFK fishing. You know what I mean? Off camera fishing is the proper word. If you AFK do anything on the server, you will get banned because you're not allowed to AFK mine or AFK fish or kill mobs. But as you can see, you are gaining a ton of herbalism XP from these cocoa beans, dude. It is so much faster than every other crop. But look at that, dude. So if you, I don't know if anyone's actually found out the meta yet or not. I, people might just, you know, not use this at all. But like, you also get a ton of cocoa beans. They don't sell for a ton, unfortunately, but they're good for getting the XP. Okay, let me replant this real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so I always do get ideas um, whenever I'm like building and stuff like that. So I want to make myself a little bit of an idea board now. <laughs> we're starting to run low on wood because we built so many things, but it's okay. I don't know if we have any extra fence. Not fence, you know what I mean. Extra signs from making the origin, and we do not, but that's okay. So we'll do something like this. Okay, 12 signs should be enough potentially and then we'll make one barrel because I always like to put a barrel next to it I don't know why so we replanted this thing and like how much how much profit do we make yeah they're like 280 a stack it's not worth it for money I mean early game fishing is gonna be your best bet uh, which you know it may need to be balanced a little bit maybe it's a little too good I don't know well this that's that's yet to be seen uh, where could we put our idea board maybe like over here for example it doesn't need to be anything too crazy. I just want a good space to be able to put ideas. Because I always seem to have them whenever I'm not on camera. Now, do we have enough? Mm, yeah, we're good. We're good. So, something like this. And I do want to make it look good. Even though it's just like a little, little signboard dingy. Look at that. Just enough. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and put our barrel in the middle. Add a few slabs. Kind of decreases the about of a... Uh, go back to the craft it decreases the amount when you put those slabs down there so we may remove it but it looks good and that's an important part you know if your island looks good and you're happy to be here that's definitely important and then we'll put the signs in here but I do have one idea off the bat um, I don't really know if I want to put a roof on it we could but like why it's a signboard it's fine so my first idea is build nice wall around the island jungle or we'll do mossy stone brick two by two on corners and then i'll i'll, I'll, I'll remember the rest of it because i do remember that and funny enough you can actually go in here and you can go to decorations and we'll just buy like a blue orchid actually we have a bunch of them we shouldn't buy them being wasteful here and we'll get a little bit of blue dye and then you can also go in the shop. Now, it's kind of expensive because it is a mob drop, but you can buy glow ink sacks. They're 3K a piece, but you don't really need that many. Like 10 of them was what? Like 30K? So we'll make it light blue and then glow. And there we go. Nice. Not as blue as I hope, but that's okay. All right, so now it's time to fish. I am going to fish my eyes out. I will end the episode by fishing. I'm just going to be fishing for, I don't know how long, an hour at least. And then hopefully whenever I come back, I will have close to enough money to get lure 10. Now, I hadn't thought about it, but I may be... What am I doing, dude? I always I always waste my money on chests when I could literally buy an entire stack for $4,000. An entire inventory. I can afford an entire inventory. Where do we want to put chests? Because I want to have chest storage in here. Maybe it's time to retire the sugar cane. But it looks so good. It looks so good. You know what we could do? We could just break the middle ones. Like this. And then just put the chest here. Yeah, that works actually perfectly. And it makes sense with, you know, these things coming down. How does it make sense? I really don't know. But it makes sense. Kind of. From a visual perspective. Maybe not a make sense perspective, though. Okay. Chests in here. Crops in here. We will farm more, of course, but whenever we farm, we'll, we'll build like layers below this one. This is just for aesthetics up here. Do I have night vision on? No, oh, it's been off this whole time. Good. Okay, cool. That means it's not too dark. And do I have any food? I feel like at some point I had food. I don't I don't know if I ate it or I sold it or, or what's the story on that, but I don't have any anymore. So let's go ahead and get a little bit here. 
My sword is so bad, but it's okay. I don't want to spend money on a sword. I feel like from fishing, I'll get a wither kit. And uh, if I do get that, then I'm going to be using that instead of using like a uh, using a, a normal pickaxe. Because you can get, I think, a good level of efficiency. There we go, dude. There. Oh, and we got three because fortune works on the ore blocks. Let's go. We're not on the ore blocks, on the actual like mineral blocks, I guess. We could sell all this stuff. Quit being wasteful, dude. You know, there's always this person in the comments that gets mad at me for being wasteful. It's so funny. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube, guys. I know, you know, I've always been a YouTuber at heart, and so it's been it's been hard for me to take a break. You know, honestly, you know, when, when you do something for so long, you know, it sounds silly. You're like, oh, it's hard to take a break from work. Yeah, I wish I could take a break. But it's like, I really love my job, and I created this job for myself, so it's really special to me. And uh, it was hard to walk away for a little bit and just focus on the actual, you know, server side of things. But it's a relief to not have to rely on this rank. I know I've said this many times, but you have to remember not everyone sees every single video I make. So, you know, I like to repeat things in case people missed out. So let's go on the leaderboards. I guess technically we're right next to them. We're at 80. <laughs> okay, let's look at total. So total fish caught, 240. Talk to... Is it 12,600? I'm just not even going to talk about it. How do, I, how do I rank on the leaderboards over here? Okay. So 2,000 and the... <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> I'm not on the leaderboards for anything. I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. But look at these people are absolutely killing it. Come on, guys. Keep competing. We got Chrono Punk, Evil Inc., Comedic Humor, Comedic Humor, Taizumi TTV, Toxic Jolt, and King Icy. You guys are raining on the second day. Will they continue to rain? We'll have to do another check next week. How are the top islands looking? These are the solo islands. Top is 1.8 million. What is the top on this? Dude, the top solo island is beating the top team island. <laughs> Let's go. Well, congratulations to all these people for competing. Oh, the spawn is so nice, man. The spawn is so cool with these giant volcanoes. By the way, that's where my private island is. If you do slash warp NPI. Neo's private island and you actually can go in here. I don't know why it's lagging. You can go in here into the volcano if you want So if you ever want to hang out with your friends meet in the volcano, it's the new secret spot Okay, I'm gonna fish my heart out. Let's go back to the uh, what is that? Paint your art out <laughs> it's like the name of something. <laughs> you just paint until you can't anymore, man Oh, yeah, since we have discord nitro linked we have a nitro key that I forgot to claim uh, we also have slash daily. Oh, those are just daily missions. Oh, I guess if we smelt 500 items, then we'll get a daily quest pouch. So maybe we should smelt 500 items. Would it be that hard to? No, not really. So let's just take like a couple stacks of this and then make ourselves a few furnaces here. And then I'll go get some iron and we'll smelt a bunch of stuff. I said I was going to do personal missions this episode. I completely forgot. I apologize. We'll do them next episode. I've just been having fun, man. Just been having fun. Sometimes I'll have to, like, plan out my stuff because I'm, like, you know, not feeling like recording. But I'm just so <laughs> I'm so excited right now. It's like I can't, I can't plan because I'm too excited. You know, I'm hoping I get a bunch of coal. There was a coal block. That's good. The Super Breaker only lasts a little bit when it's a low level. But once you get it to level 1,000, it'll max out. And I believe it lasts 12 seconds is the maximum, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this should be enough. No, it's not enough coal. Okay, I'll mine for a little bit and get enough coal. By the way, if you want to... I'm going to do this, man. I'm not going to be I'm not gonna be the person who says I'd love to do that, but then I'd never do it. Okay, so we're going to take some of this, some of this, some of this, and these, and these, and maybe this. And we're going to do what I want it to do. So I want to have an area where you can actually like stand in mine because right here you can't like get at this block and stand next to it. So at the very top here or maybe a couple of blocks down. No, the, actually the top is fine. It's a little slow to break. Um, I will just like break this out a little bit and we'll have a just, just a little standing area here. Something like that. And then we can go ahead and just break these. Hold on. It's going to take forever. Actually scratch that. We'll use upside down stairs. Um, oh, I wish I had my axe, but it's okay. It's okay. This will this will break a little quicker, and then something like this, and that way I can just stand up here and uh, mine. Okay, nice. I'll be back in a bit. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure we don't even have that many furnaces. Uh, well, as many as I had of these. Now, how can I make this fit in a little bit better? You could maybe put some, like, fence here, and then you could do, like, something like that. I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. Still looks cool. Nice. Okay. Yeah, maybe we have that many furnaces? I don't know, but I'm going to stock all these furnaces with enough for a chest. And then I will come back and we'll just load it up with the cobblestone that we have. And we will just smelt an absolute ton of stuff. Because the daily quest pouch, is it, it can be pretty good. It's hit or miss, like, you know, anything that has a chance of giving you something good. But I'm hoping luck is with us while we fish and with the daily quest pouch. Okay, so we had enough coal for this many furnaces. I don't remember. What was the daily quest? Oh, it's only small fire. <laughs> it's like one. Okay, so it's like one less it's like six no it's five stacks no it's six stacks would be 640 items so it's like wait 10 stacks would be 640 items how many furnaces three six nine ten okay yeah, we already have more than enough which is okay all righty what was i gonna do i feel like i was gonna do something oh yeah go use my nitro key let's do slash crates and go use that so if you link your discord server i think i still have players hidden yeah, I do. Uh, if you link, not link your Discord server, if you link your Discord profile by doing slash Discord and then you boost the server, um, you can actually, did this just give away some information? Uh, unlink an account. No, it didn't. Okay, cool. Let's see what we get from this. It can be pretty good. Bruh. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm, I, you know what? No. We will do auction... And we'll sell it for a hundred thousand. We'll see if anyone buys it. Okay, time to fish. We'll do a little bit on camera because it's fun. Okay, and here we are. This is our spawn point. Now it's a little bit off, so I'm gonna look directly in the center of this chest here. It's kind of hard. That should be close enough. So we'll do is set home. Okay, so now every time we come home, we get to sit like this. It'll be nice. Okay, let's fish for the first time in our brand new fishery. Ooh. So much texture, so much depth. It's beautiful. Probably even more beautiful if I were to turn on some extreme shaders like this. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. I feel like some shaders go so extreme as to as to not really look like Minecraft anymore, but this one is the Silder's Volumetric Lighting Extreme Shader Pack. And as it stands, I see a few spots that could use some more texture. <laughs> That's like the last thing you guys want to hear is me talking about texture, but no like right here Even if you did that it would just it would just oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just like that man. Perfect That looks great. Okay. Now I don't know if we can do that on the front. I don't have an axe. Excuse me Okay, and then just one more block over there. There we go Yeah, it looks pretty cool, but I I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of shaders, especially on the server It's like what what it what is the point? But, you know, you can see those beautiful god rays right there look pretty cool. Kind of hard to see them, but the sun is shining, like, right through there. Looks kind of nice. Okay, we'll catch one fish, fish with shaders. And it was a crab. So, this is, like, a super saturated shader. This is what I used to record all my tutorials on. Now, with, ever, with my increased saturation from my video editor, I'm sure this just looks absolutely wild. But it really is a really good shader. It's BSL Medium version 32 okay now we're gonna turn it off this one is kind of cool this is kind of like a newer shader one of the you know gen z shaders which i guess technically i'm the first year of gen z but i don't know some of you guys are crazy <laughs> uh, but it adds birds and stuff man look at the birds but it also has motion blur which oh i don't know how people do motion blur it makes me it makes it look like my glasses are like dirty I'm not really sure. Like, what are all these settings, dude? Like, post-process? Is the... <laughs> what is it? Oh, motion blur off. There we go. Maybe that'll help. Okay, now motion blur is off. It looks like the sun is... The sun does look pretty cool, dude. You, you gotta admit, the sun looks pretty cool. But, I don't know. This shader pack, everything has, like, a haze on it. That does not look too good. <laughs> okay, back to normal Minecraft, jeez. Ah, much, much better... Gotta love the OG graphics, man. I, I I did do a ray tracing let's play. I only made it like seven episodes in, dude. It just, it's so cursed. Like, it's cool for like 30 minutes or an hour, but 
after that it just gets to the point where it's like is this minecraft and yeah I mean, it's still minecraft but it just feels wrong dude it feels like you're playing one of those minecraft clones on the xbox 360 indie game store if you know you know okay well i'm gonna fish till i catch something really cool and then i'll show it to you but if you just want to sit here and watch me fish i will be fishing a lot on live streams so whenever i live stream this series i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet I'd I'll, I'll let you know or you'll be able to figure it out. Just make sure you're in the Neo Network Discord server. I will send an announcement there whenever I'm live streaming on the server. All right, guys. Well, I think I've gotten a little overzealous. It's about to be 1046. Started recording about, I don't know, maybe one or two. I don't know. I've been recording for a long time, so we're going to go ahead and sell everything. Uh, we have this chest almost full, and we have a completely full chest here. So I don't think we're going to get lure 10. There's 100K. A tad disappointing, but it's okay. We're still getting a lot of fishing mastery, which is good. But yeah, I love fishing, dude. I mean, I like fishing in real life, so it's really fun in the game. Um, okay, that's only 86k. Jeez, dude, this is a t see what I mean? That one fish we caught was worth more than these entire chests, but that's just how it goes. Yep, only 37k. But we got 500k. I mean, we're like halfway there, but I fished for like, you know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, but... I think we're going to call it an episode for today, but I do appreciate you guys watching. I hope to see you on Neo Network. It's a ton of fun, as you could tell by me having fun playing it. Uh, link is down in the description, or IP is down in the description below, as well as the uh, top pinned comment down below, too. Make sure you're checking out our other media creators. Link's in the description. If you want to watch them do a Let's Play on the same server, uh, they have a different perspective, different personality, and it's awesome to watch other people play the same thing. And uh, yeah, the community around Neo Network is growing. Thank you for being a part of it. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Secret code for today's episode is going to be 0821. Put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watch the entirety of today's video. I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. I'm a doofus. I was, I was looking through my hand-drawn thumbnails and I saw an auto smelter and I was like, hey, I forgot. We were supposed to smelt these items for our daily quest. You can see a little bar at the top of the screen going up. And let's see what's in our daily pouch. There we go. Received one time quest pouch. Okay, cool. And we got a little extra money as well. Okay, will it be good? Please. A blaze spawner is actually not bad at all. That's a very good spawner. Now, I don't know if our items on the auction house, did it ever sell? We'll go ahead and auction this item for 100000 as well. They are very good, but I like don't need it. So we'll just keep it. And we're going to keep this stuff to make Mossy Stone break. Okay, bye.